So now in this video, we're going to use a light dependent resistor to control how much current goes through an LED. We're going to modify it though for a couple reasons. First, if it gets bright enough, the light dependent resistor is going to have about zero ohms of resistance, uh, relatively close from my testing. And so if we put 12 volts directly across there, we're either going to fry the light dependent resistor from too much current or the LED or maybe even both. So we got a simple sick fix we have a series resistor right there so that's one kilo ohm no matter how low this gets we'll have at least a thousand ohms of resistance protecting the LED the resistor and even the uh, light dependent resistor now we have the opposite extreme if it gets dark enough the light dependent resistor for my testing gets over 200 million ohms of resistance that'll turn the LED off which is fine if that's what you want if you want the LED to just get dim but not turn off, we can just put a resistor parallel with the light dependent resistor. So imagine it's so dark that the light dependent resistor is not letting any current flow through. Now we have another path here. So we have a 10 kilo ohm resistor. So in series with the LED, if it's dark enough, we have 10 kilo ohms and one kilo ohms will have about 11,000 ohms of resistance protecting the LED. So it'll be dim, but it won't be off completely. So if it's really dark, you'll still be able to see the LED pretty easily, even with that much uh, resistance. And as it gets brighter, more current will flow through the light dependent resistor. It'll be easier to see the LED as it gets brighter. And so here we are on the breadboard, one kilo ohm resistor coming to the light dependent resistor and the 10 kilo ohm fixed resistor. The other side coming to the long lead of the LED, the anode, shortly the cathode going to ground. We will zoom back and get an idea of how much current is flowing. So that's with my overhead lamp at its brightest setting. I can get it closer. You'll see it goes up a little bit. And uh, so that's the current going through the LED approximately. It's about one milliamp off. If I uh, cover the LED with my finger right there, you can see it goes down. And to uh, really get it off, we can cover it with this alligator clip cover. That's the alligator clip that I have on there. So. You can see that uh, even if it gets dark enough, you'll have some glow. You'll definitely be able to tell there's an LED lit right there. And I can also use my flashlight to see how much we can get when we get it bright enough. So I have it zoomed in. So hopefully it doesn't wash out the LED. You can see the LED getting brighter right there. And uh, it's even more impressive in person. But uh, let's try turning it a little bit more forward right there. You can still see that it's glowing even as the uh, flashlight tries to wash it out. And you saw the current going up right there. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other ones that I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate Patreon if you can. That helps out the most. I have links down in the description. But just watching these videos helps out a ton. Thanks to everybody that does that. I will see you in the next video.